Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I want to talk to you about Big, Medium, Small, and Kid Ops. And a little bit about Big, Medium, Small, while it's a team of industry veterans with years of experience working in the game and film industry who create 3D asset packs that they would want to see and use in the industry. And I highly recommend checking out their site. They got a lot of new stuff going on. Today I'm going to be using the Lost City Collection, and thanks to Chip Waters, and Kid Ops, I'll be demoing a K-Pack that was made from the Lost City Collection. And I want to tell you, it's really cool. So here are a few scenes that I was able to make when I first received the K-Pack demo. And the simplicity of the drop and drag and the layout, it's really easy. And to have everything in the library at your fingertips is always a plus. So today I'm going to walk you through making this scene using the demo K-Pack that I have now that is almost finished and ready for production. So let's get started. Okay, so I installed the K-Pack. I'm gonna drop the main tower right here in the center. Um, I'm going to my top view. I'm gonna flip it around so the steps are facing me. I'm gonna drop in another hero and I'm gonna duplicate this one. And let's enlarge this a little bit. And let's get the positioning of these two Aztec towers a little bit different. Play around with them for a little bit. That looks kind of cool. Maybe a little larger. Yeah. Now I'm going to add a bridge from the K-Pack right from the library. I'm going to rotate the bridge. I'm going to put the bridge right about same length as the tower. That's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, looks good. I'm going to duplicate this bridge. And then I'm going to rotate it so it's facing into the tower. And I'm just going to line that up properly right there. And that looks good for me. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's starting to look good. So, now I want to do is move these in a little bit here. And uh, let's add a camera from the front view. I'm going to set my camera to 20 millimeters. Go to camera view. And then I'm going to set up somewhat of a composition just to get started. And that looks good. So, I'm going to drop in another hero from the K-Pack and I'm just going to work on placement here and I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to move it to the other side and I'm working on placement right here. Let's get everything placed up nicely and that's looking good. Now I'm going to drop this big thing in the back here. And I'm going to rotate it around and I'm actually going to work on placement for this one. And once I get that done, I'm going to duplicate that, move it to the other side, rotate it so it kind of looks even. And, and I'm going to work on the placement of these two. Okay, good. Then I'm going to add a third one in the center, back it out a little bit, just make it a little bit bigger so get some light in there. So far, so good. Adjust the camera a little bit, my composition, and it's starting to look good. I'm going to add a limb here, and I'm going to dupe it and put it on the other side. Very good. Now I'm going to add a landscape that's built into Blender. I'm going to set it to large landscape. Now I'm just showing you what this is, and then you're going to want to set up a particle system on this for some grass. Um, however, I already have one made, so I'm going to go open up the one I made already and I'm going to snatch my grass and I'm going to place it into the scene. So basically you're going to need to make a particle system of your own grass or however, whatever you want to put on the ground is fine. I'm putting a little bit of grass here. I'm using the other plane as a guide and now I'm going to delete that. I'm going to set these new ones up right and let's give it a test shot. And yeah, okay, so that looks cool. So now I'm going to use, I'm going to save this first, and then I'm going to use an add on called Pro Skies Unlimited. <clears throat> and all these add ons will be in the description uh, of the video. So I'm going to play around with the settings and get my sky right. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to start adding some lights. Uh, I'm going to drop a light up in the center to give it the the, the main light up in the top center here and play with some settings and playing with my uh, other lights 
drop some spotlights in. I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to dupe one over to the other side. And I'm going to make another one and put it in the back here. So it illuminates underneath. Make another one. Tuck it inside the house. That's cool. So now I'm just kind of adding lights and and tweaking lights and you can see where the lights are going and what kind of features I'm adding to them. Uh, you could do your own lighting. This is my lighting for the scene. You can dupe my lighting or you can, you know, whatever you want to do. But right now I'm just tweaking the lights. So it's looking good at this point and I'm liking it. Awesome. Now I'm making a box. This is going to be the fog for the scene. Now it has to cover the entire scene. And once I get the box to cover the entire scene and then the inside and all, you're going to go to viewport display and you're going to change it to wire. And then I'm going to make a new material and I'm going to delete this and I'm going to add a volume scatter. And these are the settings I like to use. You can play with them but these will be the mine for this one. So then I'm gonna slap a little S curve on here at the end. And I'm gonna save my file and I'm gonna go ahead and render, I believe. I'm gonna turn off the, uh, the previews for the particles since I don't need them. And then we're gonna render. And that's looking really, really good. And there we have it. So after about 15 minutes of layout and everything and uh, some lighting adjustments, and there we are. There's the final image. And that was made with the K-Pack from the Big Medium Small Lost City Collection. And I hope you guys like this video. And I really appreciate all your help and support. Take care.